Hello friends, in the previous video we learned the term distribution and now in this video we will discuss how we should go about finding a definite conclusion out of two or more statements using the deduction method. But before that let's go through some important rules which you must learn before you actually apply the deduction method. The first rule is the distribution check, the second rule is the alignment and the third rule is the combinations. So we will study all the rules one by one and understand how we should go about it. So let's take the first rule which is the distribution check. Under this rule the first and the foremost thing one needs to check is that the middle or the common term must be distributed once and only for once in either of the two statements. I repeat friends while using the deduction method you will first need to check the distribution of the middle term or the common term is happening or not. If it's happening for once, then we'll go ahead. And if it doesn't happen, we'll use the method of conversion to find the conclusions or we'll think of possibilities. Now let's take an example to understand this. Here are the two statements, statement one and statement two. The statement one is all boys are girls and the second statement is some girls are pens now we can clearly see that s1 is an a type statement while s2 is an i type statement and you can clearly pick the middle term which is girls here now to derive a definite conclusion between the class boys and the class pens, we need to check whether the middle term girls is being distributed in either of the statements for once or not. Now as the statement 1 is an A-type statement, the class in the predicate part is not distributed and the second statement which is an I-type statement, neither of the classes gets distributed. So we can see that in neither of the statements, middle term is being distributed. Therefore, we cannot find a definite conclusion between the classes boys and pens. Now let's take two more statements. So statement one is all boys are cats and statement two is no cats are jerks. Now you can clearly see that the statement 1 is an A type statement while the statement 2 is an E type statement and the middle term is cats here. Now as we know that in an A type statement the class in the predicate part is not distributed so we can mark across here but in an E type statement both the classes get distributed. So cats which is the middle term is distributed in the statement 2. And therefore, we can say that we can find a definite conclusion between the classes boys and jerks mentioned in these two statements. And hence, these two statements pass the condition mentioned in the rule number 1. So friends, I hope till now the rule number 1 is clear to you. But what if the middle term is distributed twice? Let's take two more statements to understand this. Statement 1 is all boys are cats and statement 2 is all boys are pens we can clearly see from the statements that s1 is an a type statement and so is s2 and the middle term which is boys here is getting distributed in both the statements in such a scenario, we need to convert one of the statements using the method of conversion and see whether the conversion satisfies rule number 1 or not. So let's try this here. So let's pick the statement number 1 and convert it. And after the conversion, the statement will be like some cats are boys. And let's note down the statement 2 as it is. All boys are 
pens now you can see that the middle term boys is not being distributed in statement 1 but it is being distributed in statement 2 and hence we can find a definite conclusion between the classes cats and the pens but on the other hand if we have got two statements of e type like no boy is a girl and no girl is a pen now as we can see that the middle term which is girl here is being distributed twice and if we apply the same application we did in the previous example it will be of no use because a conversion of an e-type statement will always give an e-type statement and the distribution of the middle term will stay for twice and hence we can say that in two e-type statements we cannot find a definite conclusion between the other classes so friends i hope the rule number one is clear to you now in the next video we are going to learn how to align the statements while applying the deduction method till then keep learning and have a great time